Hi friends, today's our topic is diversity in living things and their classification. Topic number 3, General Science Standard 6. Today we are going to learn the part first. Before that, let's recall the question number 1. In which spheres of the earth do living things exist? The answer is living things exist in all three spheres of the earth like hydrosphere, atmosphere and lithosphere. The second question is are the plants and animals that you have seen all alike? The answer is no. The plants and animals are of great variety. There is diversity in shapes, body structure, color and types. Before going to learn our topic, subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon. Today we are going to learn the part first, the diversity in plants. There are three types of plants. First is autotrophic plant, second is heterotrophic plant and third one is insectivorous plant. Autotrophic plant means plants make their own food by the process of photosynthesis with the help of carbon dioxide and water. Therefore, they are called autotrophic plants. For example, hibiscus, mango tree, banyan tree, etc. But in heterotrophic plant, that plant cannot prepare their own food. They defend food for another plant or another animal. For example, the daughter and laurentus. These are the example of heterotrophic plant. In heterotrophic plant, they do not have chlorophyll. That is why they cannot perform the process of photosynthesis. And the third one is insectivorous plant. That plant of insectivorous consume insects and that plants are known as a insectivorous. For example, pitcher plant. This is the example of autotrophic plant. The plant can consume energy, sunlight, with the help of carbon dioxide means CO2, oxygen, they release oxygen in the process of photosynthesis and water from the soil. The next is heterotrophic plant. These are the mushroom. And the third word is insectivorous plant. They consume insect. The scientist Carlos Linnaeus, the method of classification of plant was developed by the scientist Carlos Linnaeus. What is the need for classification of plant? The answer is, there is a tremendous diversity in the plants on the earth. For example, shape, number of flowers, colors, fragrance, fruits, etc is very diverse. Therefore, they should be placed properly in groups and in order to identify the plants correctly and to understand the similarity and the difference between the plants. That is why we need for classification of plants. Then let's learn about the structure of plants. First, know about the parts that grow below the ground surface. There is two parts. The first part is grow below the ground and second parts which are grow above the ground. 
below the ground the root is the main part which are grow below the ground the function of root is holding the soil firmly to support that plant absorption of nutrients and water as well as, as, well as transfer that water and nutrients and storage there are two types of roots the first is tap root for example hibiscus and second is fibrous root for example grass in this two picture you can see the example of tap root and fibrous root in the structure of plant the part that grows above the ground surface they divided into four part the first part is stem second is leaves third one is flower and last fourth is a fruit stem the function of stem is production of food as well as storage uh, that food and support to other parts like branches leaves etc and the stem is also used for in reproduction the next part is leaves the photosynthesis process happen in leaves and reproduction is also happen in leaves there are two types of leaves first is simple leaves and second is compound leaves simple leaves for example hibiscus and compound leaves for example rose the third part is flower the flower is most attractive color shape and fragrance the flower is also used in reproduction the last one is fruit the fruit have different shapes different color and different taste the seeds inside that food which is useful to produce a new plant this is the diagram of structure of plant the tap root or lateral roots leaves leaf blade petioles flowers node internode etc then the classification of plants according to the shape and the height of the stem the plants are classified into various ways the first way is their height and stem on the basis of height and stem they divide into four parts trees shrub herb and creeper the trees can grow tall trees have hard and strong trunk means stem they have fruits and flowers for example the mango tree banyan tree etc the second is shrub shrub is grow close to the ground and the height of that shrub is 2 to 3 meter and the, they are small in size as well as thick and hard stem the shrub have thick but hard stem for example oleander and hibiscus the third one is herb herb have 1 to 1.5 meter height they grow only for few months they have green and flexible stem for example periwinkle let's see the tree have a strong stem shrub have thick but hard stem and herb have flexible stem the last one is creeper means climber the creeper have very flexible soft and green stem the creeper's growth is the rapid growth with the help of support the creeper can grow with the help of support and some creepers can grow in the vertical direction or while some spread horizontally these are the four part of plants according to the shape and the height of the stem there is the four example pictures are given trees shrub herb and creeper the next classification of plant which are according to the life cycle of plant on the basis of life cycle the plants are divided into three parts 
annual plant biennial plants and perennial plants the annual plants means the life cycle is completed in only one year all type of annual plants they complete their life cycle into three six or into one year for example jawar bajra rice etc the biennial plants means that plant who complete their life cycle in up to two years for example carrot beetroot etc and the last means third one is the plants who live for several years shrub like hibiscus oleander and trees like mangoes banyan etc this this plant are perennial plant here are a question to which part of plants are butterflies and insects attracted the answer is butterflies and insects are attracted towards the flowers of the plant the classification of plants according to their nature they have flowering plants and non flowering plants the flowering plants can be a flower that is why they are known as a flowering plant for example mango tree hibiscus all plants who have green color or who make photosynthesis the second is non flowering plant that plant does not be a flower are called non flowering plants so thank you students for watching this video this is the first part of this video in the next video we can learn about diversity in animals so if you like the video give big thumbs up and today's question for you the question is name some animals which lay eggs and others which give birth to their young ones if you know the answer then comment below thank you